Hey guys, this is Muhammad Awais. Welcome to the Royal Asbians. Today we will uh, talk about the accusative case. First of all, let me tell you what is the ac accusative case and where you can use the accusative case. The accusative case is equivalent to the definite article the in the English language. Right? So the accusative case is equivalent to the definite article the in the English language. Uh, for example, wherever you want to put the word the, you will use the accusative case. In, sim in simple case, uh, for the specification of any word, if you want to specify any word, you will use the accusative case. We have some examples here. For, for example, you have uh, the example that is book. And if you want to specify this book, you will write it like the book, right? And the next example we have school and if you want to specify the school in your sentence you will use the school right the school so this is the accusative case we have used here let me revise again the accusative case is the equivalent to the definite article the in the English language for example if you want to specify any word in your sentence you will use the accusative case we have some examples here if you want to specify book we will write it the book right so uh, in this this one is the sorry the is the uh, accusative case and in school we will write it the school and this the will be the accusative case and now we, uh, we will talk about the table uh, for the accusative case endings here we have the table of accusative case endings and this table says that after vowels you can add n, ni, nu, nu but according to the vowels harmony and after voiced consonants you can add any one of these endings according to the vowel harmony and these endings are the, the, du and du and after unvoiced consonants you can add any one of these endings the, the, tu and tu but according to the vowels harmony. For understanding the accusative case you will also learn the vowel harmony. So now let's talk about some examples to make the concept more clear. Here we have the first example alcha. Alcha means cherry and now we want to make it the cherry because we want to specify it and we want to make it the cherry. And you know uh, uh, the word the is the accusative case right so now uh, we will change it into the accusative case and how we can do it first of all you have to look at the extreme right alphabet right and this is the vowel so extreme right there is the al uh, there is the alphabet and that is a and a is vowel According to this uh, according to this table, this table says that after vowels you can add n, ni, nu, and nu, but according to the vowels harmony. So we will make the vowel harmony, and you know because a is itself the vowel, so we will make the vowel harmony of a. The vowel harmony of a will be a and u, right? Uh, as you know, we don't have a we don't have a in any one of these endings right but we have u in the first ending so we will add this first ending here now it will become alcha n alcha me mean the cherry Let me revise uh, again this example. We have the example here alcha and alcha mean cherry and we want to make it the cherry because we want to specify this word right and for the specification of any word we will use the accusative case and accusative case uh, says that after vowels you can add n, ni, nu, nu according to the vowels harmony as we know when we know that the last alphabet of this word is vowel right and after vowel we will add any one of these endings according to the 
vowel harmony so we will make the vowel harmony of this uh, vowel and the vowel harmony of a will be a and u right and uh, as we uh, as we know that we don't have a in any one of these endings but we have u in the first ending so we will add here n now it will become alcha n alcha n it means the cherry here we have the next example that is kitab right kitab mean book and we want to make it the book because we want to make it uh, specification right so we want to make the book in the specification so we will write it the uh, the book right and how we can translate it into Kyrgyz we have to look at the extreme right alphabet and that is P. as you know the P is uh, unvoiced consonants and according to this table uh, after unvoiced consonants this one after unvoiced consonants you can add th, t, tu and tu but according to the vowel harmony so this will decide the vowel for this we have to choose the extreme right first vowel so from the right first vowel we have to choose and that is a this one is the extreme right first vowel and if we will make the vowel harmony of this uh, vowel it will become a r a and e right as you know uh, in this column in this column we don't have a we don't have a we don't have a but we have e in this ending right so we will choose this ending we will choose this ending here let me uh, revise again we have example here kitab it means book and you want to make it the book you want to make it specify you will do what you have to look at the extreme right alphabet and that is con uh, consonant that is unvoiced consonant and according to our table uh, after unvoiced consonants you can add these endings according to the vowel harmony for this uh, you have to choose the extreme right first vowel and that is a uh, we have made the uh, vowel harmony of a and that will be a or a and e we don't have a in any one of these endings we don't have a in any one of these endings but we have e in this ending so we will choose this ending here now it will become kitabti kitabti means the book next we have example tamak and tamak mean food and, and and we want to make it the food right because we want to make it in the accusative case for doing this we have to look at the extreme right alphabet and that is k k is unvoiced consonants and according to our table after unvoiced consonants we can add the t tu and tu but according to the vowels harmony right for doing this we have to choose the extreme right first vowel right from the right we have to choose the first vowel so this vowel says that the vowel harmony of a will be a and u right as we know that uh, we don't have a in any one of these endings but we have u in this ending right this ending so we will choose this ending here now it will become Tamakt. Tamakt mean the food. So it will become the accusative case, right? This one. Let's talk about some more random examples. And now we have the example here student. And student mean student. And we want to make it the student, right? Uh, for doing uh, this, we have to look at the extreme right alphabet and that is th and th is unvoiced consonants according to our table after unvoiced consonant we can add these endings any one of these endings but 
according to the vowel harmony for doing this for, uh, for doing this we have to choose the extreme right first vowel so this is consonant this is also consonant so this is the first vowel that is a from the right you have to choose the first vowel and that is a we have to make the vowel harmony of a and that will be a or a and e as you know we don't have a in any one of these endings we don't have a in any one of these endings but we have e in this ending right so we have e in this ending we will choose this ending here and now it will become studenti studenti mean the student next we have example mughalim and mughalim mean teacher we want to make it the teacher right so we have to do what we have to locate the extreme right alphabet and that is m and m is voiced consonant and according to our table after voiced consonants we can add any one of these endings but according to the vowel harmony for doing this we have to choose the extreme right first vowel and that is e if we will make the vowel harmony of e it will become e a or a as you know in these endings we don't have a and we don't have a but we have e in this ending right so we will choose this ending here now it will become mughalim di mughalim di mean the teacher next example dukun dukun means shop and we want to make it the shop so we have to locate the extreme right alphabet and that is n and n is voiced consonant and according to our table after voiced consonants we can add any one of these endings according to the vowel harmony so for doing this we have to choose the extreme right first vowel and that is u uh. the vowel harmony of u uh will be u uh and u uh, right as you know in these uh, endings we don't have u uh, but we have u uh in this ending so we will add this ending here it will become du kun du du kun du mean the shop all right so now it's it's your turn to make uh, more and more example for your own practice up to now uh, we have talked about the accusative case thank you so much allah hafiz